everyone this is going to be hopefully a quick video you never really know um, but my intent is to make it quick a lot of you have been asking about a grocery shopping video and meal planning video so I'm kind of gonna do two in one so now that I think about it maybe not so quick but um, if I'm acting distracted it's because the Westies are here say hello and they're nudging me they want me to pet them so um, I'm going to just do the intro really quickly. I have, I'm multitasking also. I have spaghetti going behind me. So I'm going to talk for a little bit, go get the spaghetti, and then come back. So grocery shopping and meal planning to me go hand in hand. If you don't have a plan in mind when you go to the grocery store, you are more likely to buy things you don't need, a lot of things you don't need, and then forget things that you do. So you're going to overspend, number one. And number two, you're then going to spend even more and waste time going back to the grocery store during the week to get things that you think that you need. So it's really important to make a plan. I, when I'm having a good week, I don't do this every week. I'm not perfect, obviously, but um, you know, I have my weeks where I am totally organized and on top of things, and then I have my weeks where I'm just kind of lazy fair, and and those are the weeks that tend to be more stressful in the long run. So I think I know that I do better when I have a plan. So the first thing I like to do is um, I pick the same day of the week to go grocery shopping. Usually it's Friday morning because we're home around on Saturdays. The kids are snacking on Saturdays. We're going to have a few meals at home. Um, my husband's around. So I like to have a full house to start off the weekend. Kids have their friends over and whatnot. So what I like to do is either Thursday night or Friday morning right after I drop off the kids, I'll sit down and I'll look at the next week what do we have going on you know we already know breakfasts I don't do lunch the kids buy lunch every day they like it. they love school lunches whole nother story so if your budget allows for that that's great gets me off the hook for lunches breakfasts are always the same at my house my kids love one of two things microwaved pancakes or toasted waffles with Nutella spread between them made into a sandwich or I'm sorry the third thing would be bagel and cream cheese for my older son so that's it. So what I'm really looking at for meal planning are what my dinners are for the week. So hang on, let me go take care of my spaghetti oh, and I'll be right done. back. I probably have no lipstick because I had to taste it, right? Okay. Anyway, so breakfast I just talked about, lunches, not an issue for the kids, and then dinners. So what I do is I get out the calendar, I keep a calendar, I write it out on paper, I also have it on my computer and on my phone and on my iPad, So, and I'm constantly syncing and updating just to make sure everybody is aware of what the schedule is, and most importantly, I am aware of what the schedule is. So I look at the schedule. So for instance, this coming week, my well, the week we're in right now, today is Monday, my youngest son has football practice Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 6.30 to 8. We have back to school night Wednesday. My husband is out of town Tuesday night, which changes dinner plans up a little bit. And so I have to plan. Basically, I know that I can't make dinner at 6 because we're out the door at 6.30. So we either have to eat super early or we're going to eat at 8 when we get home. So the meals that I plan, I like to plan what meal I'm going to serve every day. So I write down. So what I did was I sat down and I wrote. I don't know if you can see that. I wrote down the day dinners, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth. Um, so tonight is spaghetti and meatballs because it's easy and quick. I can make it ahead of time, stick it in the fridge, and then reheat it um, when we get home. Tuesday night is meatloaf. I like meatloaf. I don't want it. If you need a good meat, I have a great meatloaf recipe, but that's for another um, time. Wednesday, we're going to be sandwiches because that's back to school night, which is early. It's at 6. Um, and then we get home at 7. So the kids want, I, I thought, make it a little more fun. I got Subway type sandwich rolls and all the fixings that they wanted. I basically took their Subway order and then wrote what they wanted. They want turkey, roast beef, lettuce, spinach, leaves, cheddar cheese, provolone. Okay. Thursday is taco night. I decided there. See? And then Friday, Shabbat dinner. So we're having lemon chicken and then the pasta. I make a great pasta with diced up cherry tomatoes and lemon juice and olive oil. Okay. Anyway. So I have this. This comes in handy because now I will never be standing in front of the pantry going, hmm, it's 5.30, what am I making for dinner? So that takes a huge stress out of it. Then um, I have a second list. I have two secondary lists. 
This seems like a lot, but really when you start doing it, it's like... So I keep a pad of paper in the kitchen by the phone. And as I run out of things that I need to replenish, I keep a running tally. So I oh, brought a paper towels or running low on, um, I don't know, just the stuff, you know, bread, whatever, the staples that you keep around, I keep a running tally. So that goes on my grocery list. Then I sit down with my cookbook or recipes and I go through my list and I write down everything that I need to make all this stuff. Um, I think about what side dishes I want to make and I make sure I have all that. I check my pantry to make sure I really do have that vat of chicken broth or chicken stock in the pantry or do I need to go buy more. Then this is where things get anal and a little kooky. That could be it. If you wanted to have that list all set up with the staples that you run out of, the stuff that you need. Um, I also add to that list the stuff that I like to eat for lunch. I personally like to eat turkey sandwiches a lot or tuna fish or um, bagel and cream cheese with sliced tomatoes. So I make sure that I have those on my list too. Snacks that my husband wants. He makes sure to let me know what he wants. Um, he'll write them down on the pad. Um, things like that. Okay. Then, what I do, because I don't want to spend my entire day at the grocery store, or in my case, at Walmart, um, I reorganize, this is where it gets a little, I reorganize my list according to the section. So like if you see here at Walmart, these are the non-perishable, um, non like the uh, fun side of Walmart is on this side. And then I go in my head, I pretty much know the aisles. You all know where your stuff is in your grocery store. So I tend to write things in the general order. So produce is next. And then, um, you know, the frozen foods. In my grocery store, the frozen foods are in the front, which is stupid, but there they are. And then I just kind of go down the dry goods, the general area, when we get to dairy, and so forth. And yes, it says beer because I want to make beer bread. Okay. Anyway. Um, and wine because I'm making this lemon chicken with the wine, whatever. I don't need, I also bought wine that I like to drink, but always cook with wine you want to drink. Otherwise it's not going to taste good. But anyway, so that is my grocery list. I tend to stay way under budget when I do that. Um, I, I very rarely go off list. Um, it just, it really helps and, um, it helps at dinner time. So we're not crazy wondering what to do. It helps the grocery store. And then the kids like it. I keep this list out on the kitchen counter or on the side of the fridge, and they're like, oh, what's for dinner? And they, they kind of like to know what's coming. And then, you know, they'll also give me some input. Hey, Mom, we'd like this or we'd like that. And, of course, um, I tried to please. So that's how I do my grocery shopping. That's how I do my meal planning. Um, it helps to be organized. It takes a little time in the beginning, but it saves so much time as you go on. Uh, I know you're going to ask, how do I know how much money I need to spend? That's just something you kind of get used to doing. You see, if you just buy your usual stuff without going crazy, you can see it averages out. And for us, it averages out to about $150. I will say this week was like $220 because I added school supplies. had a whole list of school supplies that wasn't on here. And um, I got sheets for our guests. We got a new guest bed and I need new sheets because we don't have a bed that size and that was like another 40 bucks right there. So, you know, things like that. But sometimes I'll be less, sometimes I'll be more, but we found for us about $150 is good for us. Now I will also add, I live in Texas. We do not have a tax on our food unless it's junk food. Um, I buy a lot of generic versions, the Walmart version. If there's a Walmart version, I buy that instead of the name brand. Um, I don't buy soda. I don't buy a lot of junk food. The stuff that gets really expensive, I don't usually buy. We don't eat that stuff. So, and the cost of living is just lower here. Like a gallon of milk is like, like 250. I mean, it's just, so don't use my number if you live in the Northeast or you live in California or wherever. It's right, Mimi. She still has the flower in her hair. I did that tag on Saturday. It's now Monday. It's still there. Anyway. So that's it. I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions or want me to explain something more fully, um, if I you know miss something, please tell me. 
and uh, or ask me and I'll try my best to answer you or if I feel like it needs a whole video on its own I will do that too I'm sorry I've neglected this channel I kind of forget sometimes that it's there can't imagine why I don't have anything else going on right Mimi? anyway I'm gonna get the kids suited up it's time for football soon and I will see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching oh some of you, I think, are Life with Gold Girl subscribers and are not aware that I have a main channel called Miss Gold Girl that's all beauty related. And um, it's listed in the description box. Go check that one out. You might actually find that interesting too. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.